You ever wanted to make a good looking water system like The Witcher but can't because it's under documented? Well, I got you. First off, open up your plugins, enable water, and water advanced. Once that's done, go into project settings, search up subsystem, then use default shallow water subsystem. That's good. So now we can get onto it. Make sure you have a good landscape, you know the drill, pop in your water river. I know it, I know it looks terrible, but it'll be fine. Press the button to select all spawns, set up the increase the depth to prevent spillage. 175, increase that, pop in a shallow water river. This is important. Now we just have to find our source water river bodies, pick it, it'll change a different fancy color. So now what we need here is just press reset. And now you have a real time witcher styled uh, water. Yeah, it's not that bad. So what we have to do is the FPS. It's not that great. So what we have to do is just, you gotta bake the water. Press bake, set this up to be a baked sim. And now it's back to 120 but then yeah it's all good and baked and stuff but there's no interaction then turn on water component with baked sim and yeah now now you've got ripples but let's say you want rocks and collisions with the river first off open up your rock mesh and it needs simple collision no exceptions just simple collision I use use complex collision as simple, then open up your shallow water river, search up tags, bottom contour tags. Essentially that's your uh, collision. So what do I want my collision to be? I'm thinking rock. Drag in your collision thing, give it a tag of rock, but then you realize that it can't do its job, then switch it back to live and or you can just reset it if you're still on live. And yeah, now you've got collision. So yeah, now we're good. And hop into your thing, bake it again. Water component with baked sim. And yeah, this this is your the Witcher 4's the uh, water system. Enjoy.